Good morning. How are you today? I am so happy to see you. I think we should start this morning with a song. Stand up, stand up, stand up, let's sing. Oh, that's too deep and wide. I really like that song. Are you ready? Here we go. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. Hey, let's do an animal sound. Let's pretend to be an animal. Can you name an animal? Oh, oh, I like that one. I like that one. Let's do a tiger. What do tigers say? I think tigers say roar. Okay, are you ready? Let's be a tiger. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Roar! Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Roar! Oh, that was funny! How about another animal? Can you name another animal? Oh, oh, that's a good one. I like that one. A cow! Let's do a cow. Well, let's see. What does a cow say? A cow says moo. Let's do a cow. Here we go. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Moo! Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Moo! Ha! <laughs> that was fun too. Hey, hey, let's do the one we all really, really like. Let's do a cheetah. A cheetah is really, really fast. Let's see if we can do this really, really fast. Are you ready? I said, are you ready? Awesome. Here we go. Deep and wide, deep and wide, you found the frog, deep and wide, deep and wide, deep and wide, you found the frog, deep and wide. Oh, that was fun, huh? <laughs> if you are still standing, you can sit down now. Say, have any of you been guys been outside and taken a walk with your family? It's beautiful outside. Spring is here. I went for a walk yesterday. When I would see someone else walking by, I would wave and say, hello from Squiddles. What other things have you been doing with your family? Oh, that sounds really fun. I like, I like all of those ideas of what you've been doing. See, in today's Bible story, we are talking about two men who went for a walk. Why don't you have the grown-up pause this video and you can go get your Spark Story Bible. I will wait right here. So go, go get your Bible. Awesome, you're back. Today's Bible story is called The Road to Emmaus. There were two men who were out for a walk. We can find this story on page 488 in our Spark Story Bible. So turn to page 488. Ready? Okay, let's read the story. The Road to Emmaus. Three days after Jesus died, Cleopas and his friend were slowly walking down the road to a town called Emmaus. They were walking slowly because they felt very sad. Why did Jesus have to die, they wondered. After a while, a stranger began to walk with them. The stranger was really Jesus, but Cleopas and his friend did not know it. What are you talking about? The stranger asked. The men looked at each other. Are you the only person in town who doesn't know what just happened? They asked. The 
they told the stranger what had happened to Jesus. Jesus was a great teacher, Cleopas said. We hoped he was the one God promised would save the world. But instead, he died on a cross. We took Jesus' body down and put it in a tomb. This morning, our friends went to the tomb, but Jesus' body was gone. They said there was an angel there instead. The angel told our friends, Jesus is alive, but... Stop being silly, the stranger said. How many times do you need to hear this? It was God's plan for Jesus to die and become alive again to save the world. Oh, hey, before we turn the page, do you see me? Do you see me in the picture? Do you see me? I'm right over there by Jesus. Take a really good look. Oh, there I am. There I am. Ha ha. Okay, let's turn the page now. By now, they were almost to Emmaus. Cleopas invited the stranger to stay for dinner. During dinner, the stranger picked up a loaf of bread, broke it and blessed it, and gave each man a piece. All of a sudden, Cleopas and his friend recognized the stranger. It was Jesus. But then Jesus disappeared. Cleopas and his friend jumped up, ran from the room, and went to tell the rest of Jesus' disciples that Jesus really was alive. God kept another promise. What a great story! Wow! Jesus is alive and in heaven with God. Jesus wants us to remember that even though we can't see him, he is always with us. Before we go, let's talk to God. Let's sing our prayer song. I can talk to God any time of the day. Hey, hey. He is always listening. I can tell him anything. When I pray, eh, eh, he is always listening, and I can tell him anything. And when I'm done, I say, eh, 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 amen. Eh, 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 amen. I can talk to God, amen, amen. So let's bow our heads. And fold our hands and say, Dear God, you are so wonderful. We are so glad that you are always with us, even if we can't see you. We love you, God. Amen. I have had so much fun making these videos for you. I can't wait until the fall when I can see all of you again back in church and at God Zone. I certainly hope you have a fantastic summer with your families. Be sure to wave to your neighbors if you are out for a walk. I can't wait to see you this 